What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Neil Dunn Drifting Channel. I'm Neil Dunn and I'm a drift driver here in uh, Ireland. So it's been quite a while since I've done some vlogging. Uh, I've been working with Matthew Bedward during the year, which I was uh, really, uh, really enjoyed. Uh, had a lot of fun, different type of video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the videos throughout the year. I think we brought something special to every round. Uh, certainly on the video side of it, maybe not so much on the driving side of it. But um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I, uh, man with really good ideas and I tried to bring some stuff myself in. So if you caught me on uh, merry-go-rounds and uh, doing silly things, that most of that was, uh, was Matthew's idea. So huge props to him. Uh, just for the off season, I wanted to get back into a little bit of vlogging. Uh, you can see behind me the car is looking a little bit worse for wear. So really what I, I want to do is just, you know, vlog the progress of getting it rebuilt, getting it back into tip-top condition for the 2020 season. So 2020 I found a tough year. Uh, this was my first year in the, the pro level in Ireland. So it was the Drift Games Extreme Championship, which would have been the equivalent of uh, IDC Pro, if you like, uh, from 2018 and, and before. Uh, yeah, I found it very, very tough. Uh, the level of cars and the level of driving obviously did step up, although you can take nodding away this year from the Drift Games national guys, they were on another level as well. So I don't know if I would have done any better in that championship. But what I found was the, the grip that the, the, the big guys are running and the power that they have and the, the, you know how fast their cars are is just intense. It really is. Uh, I tried to add more grip in throughout the year and I found the more grip I was putting in, actually the worse my driving was get, getting. Um, which was interesting, like I suppose, I'm so used to and I've been driving that car for so long with the power level that it has and I didn't do anything with the power level for 2019 season. Uh, so that's something I'm going to look at to see if I can maybe drag a few more ponies out of the stable. Um, so to try and dial that grip in and drive it with the, 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 the power I had, it made the car very unforgiving. So if you made any small error at all, I found it was amplified. And as the season was going on and I was kind of doing worse and worse nearly, I uh, found the confidence was taking a bit of a knock as well. So, uh, yeah, it was a tough season that way, but I learned a huge amount. Uh, some of it I hope to put into the car now during this off season and take the experiences that I learned from this year and bring it to the 2020 season. While it wasn't maybe the best year competitively for me, I have to say I really enjoyed the season. I really enjoyed watching the season and, you know, spending time with all these guys and, and learning from them and learning from driving with them was amazing so i really enjoyed that much uh throughout the season i didn't do massive damage to the car final round we got to the global warfare layout and i made ribbons in the back of the car uh, which you probably seen and i repaired it got everything reasonably right i had a few tires left over from the the season and i had a little bit of budget so i decided to go across the bdc and try my hand at that uh buxton was <laughs> A uh, much bigger challenge than I anticipated. I managed to uh, attempt three laps and complete none. So my final lap is uh, how the car ended up, which we probably could have repaired uh, trackside. One of the bottom arms is destroyed, but we could have cobbled something together. But I just didn't feel comfortable with the track and it was such a dangerous track. I thought at that stage I probably had enough damage done. So I'll take you for a walk through on where, where I'm at with the car at the moment, what I hope to do with it. And uh, yeah, please join me in the journey as we get the car back, as I say, back to tip top condition, back to where I want it to be and get it back out for 2020. So join me and uh, I hope you enjoy the, the off season vlog and uh, we'll see where 2020 takes us. Sound.
Okay, so I have the front end all stripped. Uh, you can see behind me, lots of bent, lots of broken parts, uh, lots of stuff to be replaced. Not a big deal, we can do that, that's uh, all okay. Fortunately, it uh, looks like I have a bit of, uh, I suppose, heavier repairs to be done. So, that's the DMAC arm, that took the brunt of the, the bend, or the hit, and it's bent, quite badly bent there, plain to see. I was hoping because that was pushed back, the shock is straighter, I thought that might have been what, why uh, kind of twist in the chassis was, uh, but unfortunately not to be. You can probably still see there, it's definitely sitting that way, and it certainly seems to be in the chassis itself. So I'm just lining it up with the bar in the roll cage, that would be relatively level, reasonably, and certainly that is well twisted compared to it. I was just inspecting in here, so there's a little bit of a lump there, I would think that may be where the bend has happened on this side, and on this side, a lot more, you can see it's quite pronounced there. So, next plan is get the engine out, I want to do a compression test on it, I'm going to get that over to Stiv, get that rebuilt, uh, or refreshed, just make sure everything is okay. Uh, strip the rest of the car, get it to a body shop if I can, see if I can get it up onto a jig and see if I can get it repaired. If not, looks like it might be the end of the road for the S13 and that can't happen. I can't allow that to happen, this car has to come back. This has been my baby for the last 10 years and it's gone nowhere. So let's try and get it to the body shop, let's try and get it repaired, let's try and get it straightened and let's get it back out for 2020. Not the best news I suppose to end the video on, but there we go. Uh, looks like I certainly have plenty of work this off-season. So, yeah, let's get it done.